Okay, so we've got uh, both wings are done. We've demolded them, and we're going to compare the difference between the two. Um, the first one we did, we were guesstimating on how much foam we need. Then we were pretty close, but to be honest, the foam barely filled the cavity and uh, really didn't get a whole lot of back pressure. We learned from that one. On the second one, um, we poured all the foam we mixed up, which was uh, 30 grams. So based on the first one, we I mixed up 30 grams, poured it, and visually kind of had a gut feeling that didn't have to meet, you know, pour all the foam in. Well, we were short a little bit uh, in the end, and I'll show you in a second. On the next one, we poured every bit in, so we did all 30 grams. And uh, so both of them overall, actually, we're, we're, we're pretty impressed. They are stiff beyond all belief, and in fact, you can you can smell the the, the epoxy is actually still curing. You can smell the wet system; it's got a distinct smell. This is the first one we did, and when we demolded it, we noticed there was a little bit of a delam right about here on this trailing edge, and this goes back to uh, when I talk to people about foam all the time that. Back pressure is everything. Back pressure is going to give you the cell consistency. It's going to give you just the best quality foam. And what we're seeing here is that because the foam almost did a basic free rise, it didn't fill to the top, didn't hit our lid, didn't really come out the vent, and it didn't create internal pressure to help push the foam and all the nooks and crannies and push against the skin. If we bend the wing, you can see a little bit of a wrinkle. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. Now, this wing is... Uh, potentially still usable. When when Brett goes and cuts the ailerons out, you might be able to wick in some thin CA here. But ideally, um, we don't want to do that again. But the second one is a much better, uh, much better ending. This wing looks great. We're twisting it around. It is super stiff torsionally, um, and also across you know laterally. Got really good stiffness, and uh, this is definitely a usable part. It's a little heavier probably because of, you know, we use, or Brett had laid up a two ounce glass, you could probably go down to a three quarter ounce, and we might even be looking at just doing primer in the mold. Yeah, then, top skin's four ounce on this one. Well, bottom two and two, right? Two and two, bottom skin's just uh, a two ounce, but then there's a second layer of two ounce, the last inch of oh, the trailer really edge. Yeah. So we probably have way more glass than we need. This, Like I said, this thing, this is like a 200 mile an hour uh, yeah. <laughs> wing here. This thing is really stiff. But it's still lighter than the molded wings that uh, were the yeah, first molded. example. This one came out about 26, both of them were really close to 26 grams. The molded one you have, what, 32? Mm -hmm. Roughly 30, 32, something like that. So I'm excited. This looks like a good part. And this proves the point of back pressure is really important. And even this one didn't really have, um, it didn't have a whole lot of foam squirt out. So I think this one is like perfect for the volume we have, for the density material. You know, you could maybe go a few grams above just to get a little bit more coming out. But other than that, man, this is this is stout. Feels good. So anyway, and then the other one, you want to show the piece? We did this one for fun. That is what? Uh, how many layers of glass? That's uh, two layers of two ounce. Okay obviously primered in the mold and then we just literally just closed up the mold filled it with about 80 grams of foam and then it came out like a volcano at the tail uh the part weighs right about uh 30 grams i believe 30 grams as opposed to a laid up glass one's about 20. once again uh it's stout this is this could be a plug for making a mold it's so strong so anyway learned a lot but this part looks beautiful. This wing looks beautiful, and this one's got a minor issue that was something you just learned in the first one. Yeah. Go from there. Cool. All right, Troy, thanks. You got it. <laughs>